dominating the enemy. We're not gonna allow him to manipulate us anymore. We're aware of his devices. Stay right here, this is Stick With The Plan. I'm Amy, let's get right into it. So glad you joined me today. I'm talking about dominating the enemy. Man, and he is just the master manipulator. I mean, he's tried so hard to work his way in your relationships. He'll use anybody who will let him in. I mean, any simple-minded person will send your way, trying to manipulate you, trying to control you. I was looking up that word manipulation. It means using evil tactics to get the advantage over you, to try to be able to uh, maneuver you, to manage you, to uh, control you, to take your influence, influence. Man, when I see that spirit on somebody, I recognize it quickly. I know God's not a manipulator. God is such a gentleman. The Holy Spirit's a gentleman. You never have the Holy Spirit come on you and try to take control of you. No, He's such a gentleman. Even when He fills you with the Holy Spirit, you know, it's up to you to pray in the Spirit. You know, it's up to you to move and to yield. It's up to you to listen to the voice of the Lord. He's never, never trying to control you. He gives us that will, that free choice. Now, the enemy, Satan, the defeated foe. He is the master manipulator, the master deceiver. So he has to use manipulation and he'll use people to try to um, distract you, to make sure that you never get to do what God's called you to do. He'll send little manipulators to your workplace, maybe around your home, in your life. Maybe there's one in your family. <laughs> You're like, they're always trying to manipulate our time or, or steal my joy. And I believe it will recognize it and we see it for what it is. We're not in a people fight. We see right through the devil's plan. He wants us mad at everyone around us, our family, our co-worker, our boss, whoever it is that's trying to control us. Let's see through it. Let's see it as the enemy. Like I'm not even worried about the people anymore. I'm, I know that's an evil spirit. I have dominion over it. I can take authority. Lord, I'm not going to allow a spirit of manipulation in my workplace, in my home, at my church, in the ministry. I see it right now and we say it must go in the name of Jesus. Now, that's a way to live victorious. We're not supposed to be dominated by, um, you know, whatever the evil plans are of the enemy. And he loves to use people. I was counseling with a man recently who said, oh my goodness, I am just uh, in his family. You know, in fact, he was talking about his mother-in-law. <laughs> I just think she is a master manipulator. And I was like, now don't get in a fight with her. You know, she just loves y'all. She's trying to take care of you. But, you know, she's allowing, you know, some evil mannerisms to get in there. I said, let's just pray. This is an evil spirit. Let's just go right to the Lord and say, I, I won't be uh, allowing this spirit in my home anymore. You know, just take, take your authority in your family. I love what Matthew chapter 10 and 16, it says, it says that we should be shrewd as snakes, but as innocent as doves. And I had to look that up. What does that mean, Lord? What are you saying here? It means uh, we see right through manipulation. We don't allow people to manipulate us, but yet we're as innocent as doves. We're never going to use manipulation to control, to be sneaky, to get our way, or to have the advantage over someone. No, we're, we'll see through it. We'll see when people are trying to manipulate us. We won't have it. We won't stand for it, but yet we'll keep our heart as innocent as a dove. We will not manipulate anybody. We're going to walk in love, walk in the ways of the Lord because we're his children. He's our father. We're not of the deceiver. No, only lies can come out of the devil's mouth. No, we listen to the Lord. He shows us how to walk in love. So, uh, so I was thinking about this and how easy it is to, um, you know, get mad at people because they, they don't, they act like they don't know better and they're trying to get their way, force their will upon you. And it's just not the ways of the Lord. The kingdom is never pushed you like that. If you look in Romans 14, 17, it says that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. A believer never has to manipulate because we know we're in right standing. We're righteous with the Lord. We're, we're with him. We're good with him. And we have to keep our, our peace and our joy. It's part of the kingdom. It, we're, not, we're not manipulators. No, we're full of peace, joy, love. That's what our strength is. So now I'm my prayer today for us is that you'll be a discerner of this. You'll know when someone is manipulating you, when you should help, when you should not. I mean, there's a lot of people now, especially in the churches, that their name's Jimmy. They take all you give me. <laughs> and you've got to ask the Lord, do I keep helping them or are they just manipulating? 
manipulating us? Are, are they in the way of your plans, Lord? There's going to be some people He wants you to give $20 or He wants you to help. But there are going to be some people that are just there to take advantage and to distract you from the plans of God. We're after the high call today. We won't be distracted. We won't be manipulated anymore by the devil or his plans or whoever he sends in our way. We'll take our authority in the name of Jesus and that's how you'll stay in the kingdom of God and stick with the plans he has for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I love hearing all that God is doing in your life. Keep those testimonies coming. Thank you for sharing this. New friends, watch this because you are sharing this. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. If you're on Facebook, like this page. We have a brand new video for you next week. And remember, every Tuesday we are live. I'll see you then.